Voice flow versus bot press is probably one of the most interesting comparisons to make in the AI automation agency space today. And today I'm going to go over all the benefits of each of the platforms. And I'm going to reveal at the end of the video, which one we use personally and why we made that decision. So let's jump right into it. Right off the bat, I just want to quickly explain what VoiceFlow and BotPress are and what they are used for. So VoiceFlow and BotPress are used to build chatbots with AI. So AI chatbots are very unique and different compared to the chatbots that we all know, which have been around for a long time. AI chatbots are smart in the way that they are built. AI is integrated and they can have a conversation with the user. And AI chatbots have a lot of advanced functionality, which you can build. For example, if you have an e-commerce store as a client, you can build a customer support chatbot using AI, which is also able to check order numbers and order status in real time and relay that information to the customer. I've also made a lot of videos on how to integrate these platforms with Instagram DMs. Um, so if you want to check that out, there's a free resource hub in the description down below where you can sign up and get all of our templates, which we use in our agency. All right, so let's jump right into the details of VoiceFlow and BotPress. We're going to take a look at the pricing and the features right here. So we're on VoiceFlow right now. These are the features and the pricing options. They have very simple plans. It's easy to understand what you get with each plan. So we're going to take a look at that right now. First of all, we have the sandbox, which is starting for free. So if you're still in the stages where you're still figuring out which platform to use, I would recommend starting for free on both platforms because both platforms have a free option. With the free version, you get a single editor, which means that it's only you who can use the voice flow um, plan. You have 50 knowledge based sources you can add two agents, you have 100,000 AI tokens, which really is not a lot. So be aware, um, unlimited viewers, and you have one workspace. We then move up to the professional plan, which is $50 per month. With that, you have one editor as well. So you're going to be the only person who can work in this, uh, in this plan. You have 200 knowledge based sources per agent, you have 20 agents, you have 1 million monthly AI tokens and additional tokens cost $5 per 1 million. So it's very affordable. In my opinion, you have logic code API blocks, you can export, you have password prototypes, and you have custom branding. So this is what you need if you're actually going to build something and deliver it to a client. This professional plan will be more than enough. We then move on to teams, which is $185 per editor per month. So this is where you can have more people on the team working on your voice flow projects. You can have up to three editors, you have 1000 knowledge base sources per agent, you have up to 20 workspaces, unlimited agents, 10 million monthly AI tokens, real time collaboration, which means that when somebody's working in a voice full project, you can see where they're working. If you're also working on that same project, you have priority support and group training sessions. And then the enterprise plan from what I know starts at around 20 to $30,000 per year. So that really makes sense. Once you have a big agency, you're servicing a lot of clients, but until then you're going to go with either the professional plan or the team's plan. Now, as for bot press, they have a pay as you go pricing model, which means you have no upfront commitment and you just pay as you go the free plan, which they have it has a thousand incoming messages per month, which means a thousand messages that are sent to the AI. You can get started for free. Once you hit 1000 messages, you can use this pricing calculator, which is going to show you how much you pay depending on how many messages you get per month. So, um, while voice flow has a higher initial pricing base, you're going to pay less per message on average than with BotPress. However, with BotPress, you start off free and you just pay by usage, which you can also charge the clients based on their usage. Now we have, you have they have guarantee uptime, they have customer support, success manager, um, they have advanced technical support, and they have all these different integrations as well. Pretty much all of the features which Voiceful has, this has too, just the way that it's integrated into the platform varies a lot. Now let's jump right into our personal experience at our agency. I'm going to go over the story, explain why we ended up where we ended up and what the backstory is. So when we initially started our AI automation agency, we went with bot press. We started learning bot press. We started building our first chatbots on bot press. And that is mainly due to Liam Otley, which is the number one guy in the AI automation agency space. I'm sure you all know him. He started recommending bot press. So that's why we went with bot press. However, we quickly had some issues issues and we realized that bot press isn't really doing it for us. Um, basically bot press that we had a lot of issues, bugs, um, it just didn't work as it was supposed to. The support in discord was slower than we would have liked. And so we made the decision to look for alternatives. 
which is when we came across VoiceFlow. It was actually very funny timing because uh, I think two or three days after we switched to VoiceFlow, Liam also started using VoiceFlow in his videos. So we, we made that switch right around the time where Liam actually made that switch as well. Now, what I personally love about VoiceFlow, because I'm in charge of building most of the VoiceFlow applications in our agency, is that it's easy to use. The Discord is amazing. You can request features. There's workshops regularly. Um, and the platform is just intuitive to use. It's very easy. It's very simple. Um, and you can build out advanced things at the same time. So while it's simple and easy to use and the interface is clean, you can do so much advanced stuff and so many advanced functionalities using JavaScript, API um, integrations and more. And that is what really excites me about VoiceFlow. So once you really get deep into the features of VoiceFlow, you can really build advanced stuff. I also love their intense feature while it still does have a couple issues um, now and again, the intense feature overall is a massive, massive bonus point for VoiceFlow as well, which just allows you to save on uh, tokens, which is how you pay for AI usage. So that is why we are using VoiceFlow and why I would recommend VoiceFlow to all of you guys. I've put the link to both BotPress and VoiceFlow in the description. I would really recommend for you guys to also check it out for yourself. Try both of the platforms yourself and then make your decision. But I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea why we use voice flow in our business and what the different advantages and disadvantages of both of these platforms are. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to sign up for our free resource hub. If you want all of our voice flow, Instagram integration templates, our outreach methods, and much, much more. I'll see you guys in the next video.